I want you to know that we have one powerful tool here called the boolean, okay? This one allows me to take two different objects and make them interact one with the other and it's a really uh, interesting and, and powerful tool and this one allows us to create a lot of different uh, kind of effects but um, let's see what we can do with this so let's go and create something sphere press enter we have our sphere here now i want to have uh, th this one at the end of this video we are going to create uh, one object but with two different objects so we only need one node so i'm going to double click here inside this node and i'm going to create another object uh, but inside this geometry level so now we have our sphere first thing is that i'm going to change the type from primitive to polygon mesh and i'm going to press tab and select uh, b or x okay i want a box there we go we have a box and same thing i'm going to select the box and i'm going to change uh, the polygon type from uh, to polygon mesh change the axis divisions i mean we don't have to do that it's not uh, something really important but just because i want to have a little bit more definition here so you can see now we have a better shape and now we need to call our famous transform node okay here we go we place one in here connect the output of my sphere to the input of my transform node and now I want another one for my box. So Control C, Control B. Uh, oops, Control C in order to copy. Control B. I'm gonna paste it right here. Now disconnect this one and connect it to my box. There we go. Now they are not um, really important uh, for this purpose, but I I am just doing that because uh, this node allows me to change the size and the uh, placement of my objects and as you can see we can do that here if I move the radius I can change the, the, the shape the, the size of my sphere and I can move the translation options here but if we have a node for that specific option why don't uh, we use it right so that's why I like to use the transform nodes all the time now right now I am not going to transform my sphere the one that I want to transform is my cube my, my box so I'm going to template my sphere for now because I want to see it. Uh, meanwhile, I'm moving my box. Now, as you can see, I, I, can't, uh, I can see my box. So now we have our box here. And one thing is that my box is uh, smaller than my sphere. That's what I want to change. So I'm going to go here, middle mouse button, and increase the size of my box. Just like that. So now we have something even. All right. Well, almost. I, we have a nice intersection here between my cube and my sphere and that's what I want. Now all we have to do is deselect the template here and go to our model option here and select boolean or we can press tab here okay, and press B O O. We have a boolean object here. Now that we have our boolean is uh, what we need is uh, may, uh, connect this Two different objects in these inputs now in the first input i have input number one geometry a all right one of these uh, is going to be the a and the other one is going to be b so we have geometry a and geometry b all right so i'm going to take the sphere as my geometry a and i'm going to connect my geometry a here now i'm going to make visible my boolean and as you can see now everything uh, disappears that is because right now in my properties in my properties of my boolean as you can see we have the operation uh, set to intersect okay so i have some intersection but intersection from geometry a with what we don't have nothing so let's select geometry b connected and now we can see the intersection that we have here so our sphere is intersecting with our cube and as you can see all the outside of my sphere uh, all the, the the portion of the sphere that is outside of the cube is gone okay it looks like uh, we take a knife and sh slice uh, portions of this uh, sphere this is uh, something that without the boolean tool uh, probably kind uh, of take us a lot of work okay so that's why i like it a lot now let's take a look on some of the properties of this boolean tool 
you can see that the first thing that I want to show you is that we have a cookie node right here. It doesn't say boolean anymore. That is because what we are using is a cookie node actually. But you, we just have this uh, name uh, because uh, a lot of different uh, 3D programs uh, they use the, the boolean uh, tool, right? So we can have this kind of reference. But if you press tab and you press COO, we have cookie. Here we go. We have cookie. If I connect this one here and this one here and make this one visible, you can see we have the same kind of result. Well, actually, I'm going to change the operation here from union to intersect. Okay, that is the one that we have here. So now I'm going to change from cookie to boolean again. You can see the same option. Okay, I can set uh, the intersect to union here and here. If I select this one now, I can change the operation to union. And there we go. I mean, they're actually the same uh, object, okay? The same node. Now, I'm going to delete this one because we don't need it. We are talking about the Boolean. So, there we go. Now, as you can see, we can change the operation type, but we have something else here. Uh, in, we have groups A and B, the same kind of thing. We can uh, make a group for the A geometry and another one for B. Well, like I told you, we are going to talk about groups and all these things uh, later. Now, we have 3D tolerance. Uh, the amount of, of, of tol how, how much uh, tolerance we want to give it to uh, the confirmation of this uh, operation now we have pre-convex geometry okay and um, let's change the type here to intersect for now now we have the boolean type we have uh, groups all right we have some groups but we don't have anything now we have the operation and here as you can see we have the interact we have the union we have a minus B that means sphere uh, in this case sphere minus the cube so I'm uh, uh, taking the cube out of my sphere now we have B minus A that means my cube minus the sphere so whatever the sphere uh, is is going to disappear and uh, then we have user defined when I use and set user defined I have access to all these different options. Right now you can see that everything disappears, but we have a lot of freedom here. I can say I want to keep the inside of A, the inside of my sphere. So I go like that and I only have the inside of my sphere. I don't have the outside of my sphere. If I want the outside, I have to go and press here. So now I have the outside of my, of my sphere and the inside, all right? Deselect the inside and there we go. I have only the outside. Now I, I can keep the inside of my box, inside of B, and there we go. We have the inside here, so you can see we have uh, this kind of interesting shape. And we have overlapping options and all the different uh, freedom, like I told you before. We can consolidate the edges, all right, you can see, wireframe here. And we can consolidate the edges here, yeah, actually, you can see it better here. Uh, if we select the, this option here, well, it doesn't matter. You can see how we are. Uh, we have this consolidation option here. When I press that, you can see how it changes. All right, that means that we are consolidating the edges, all the limits of our uh, our connections. Okay. Now we have our do jitter. Okay, we can do a jitter here. We have the amount, the speed, the jitter, and the amount here. We can, uh, we have all this freedom here. Now, we have another option here is called crease. If I select crease, now you can see everything uh, changes, right? We have different options here. We can deselect this, and now we have this kind of curves, right? And um, we have uh, keep source, okay? Or only use it as uh, creases, okay? And there we go. Actually, that's uh, what we can do with this node. And um, see you in the next movie.